At para pag-usapan ang laban nila Vera at Sekine at iba pa mga laban bukas, makasama natin si Theo Castillo. Theo, welcome back to the score. Hello, TJ. Nice Thanks to be here. Thanks for joining us. Okay, big, big uh, fight card tomorrow night. Mm -hmm. uh, matagal ang pinag-aabangan, matagal uh -huh. ang pinag-usapan to. But of course, main event, Brandon Vera defending his title against uh, some guy who took a long rest. <laughs> Interesting, long you know. Rest. Anong alam natin about uh, his opponent, tong si Hideki? Well, ito si Hideki is a seven-time uh, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu champion wow, sa ADCC. He really, huh? So he's a... Uh, a common competitor kung okay. pagdating sa jiu-jitsu and right. uh, been with the best. So, basically, itong si Hideki kasi ano siya eh, almost pure grappler siya. Although, okay. he, he's very successful sa MMA stint mm -hmm. niya. Pero I don't think he's been able to stand across the cage na ang katapat si Brandon Vera. So, okay. medyo sluggish siya. Mm -hmm. And he wants or he likes control. Tapos yung heavy hands niya dahil ang laki talaga nitong mamang to. Okay, kita ka natin sa video, gano'n siya kalapad. Although, alam natin, malapad din si Brandon. So, parang yung pala, magtatapat mm. ng uh, pareho malalapad. But, so, if, obviously, kung grappling ang, ang, ang strength niya at saka jiu-jitsu strength niya, would it safe to say na weakness niya would be the striking game wherein Brandon can take advantage? That would be the question if Brand mm -hmm. Brandon would be able to take advantage. Pero ang uh, magiging magandang obstacle dito kay uh, Hideki mm -hmm. is can he take Brandon Vera to the ground? Kasi ah, that's easier yeah. said than done. Correct. Oh. Itong si Brandon, nag-wrestling siya, nag jiu jitsu siya. He's now mm -hmm. a black belter in Brazilian jiu-jitsu. So, okay. um, with a particular uh, style do sa striking, makukuha niya agad yung distance and the pace that he wants right. para ma-fend off itong si Hideki. Okay. Ano na ba yung naging evolution ni Brandon Vera? I mean, remember when you first saw him sa UFC, mm -hmm. he's evolved and now he's resuscitated his career sa 1FC. Uh, how has he evolved as a fighter? Ano pa bang ikinagaling din niya from before pa? Well, ako kasi nakita ko sa kanya mentally or at least yung instincts niya, mm. it came back ngayon. Bumalain Meron siyang okay. killer instinct. Before, okay. kasi nung nagbaba siya ng weight, mm. after demolishing yung heavyweight, um, siguro may nakapagsabi sa kanya na, I think you're small or meron talaga mas malalaki sa'yo. Kaya siya nag-light so heavyweight. So you need heavyweight. to light heavyweight. Oh. So he was a bit successful at first, mm -hmm. pero um, ang nakita ko, nahirapan siya sa weight cut. Eh. So mm -hmm. dun sa skills talaga ni Brandon Vera. Wala naman ganun kakulang. Siguro, kompleto na siya. Kompleto, timing, okay. ganyan. Or he just needs to find yung groove kung paano siya maging komportable. Mm. Ngayon, when he got to one, um, balik yung killer instincts na. Tsaka, mm. ang maganda dito, siya yung nagsiset ng horizon for the heavyweight uh, division. Right, right. So, right. kasi usually, mga Asians maliliit. So, uh, kailangan niya sabihin siguro na you Asians should come out and play na ngayon, bukas na yung doors for the correct, heavyweight correct, division. Correct, correct. Okay, so, um, interestingly, itong laban niya dito, his third fight in the Philippines, ngayon din siya lang tumagal sa Pilipinas at nag-migrate na siya dito. Mm. Pagkalam natin lahat na sumashowbiz na nga, umara, <laughs> di ba? Uh -oh. Um, how does that come into play? Uh, he said it, you know, you can read more into his words na hindi ako papayag na matalo sa bahay ko. Uh, iba yan, compared to before na dumaday lang siya sa bansa to fight, although still represent the Philippines, how much different is it you think that he's planted his roots here? Well, masasarap yan kasi you're, you're with more family. Right. Yeah. Tapos he's enjoying yung, yung success tsaka yung welcome talaga. Na, mm -hmm. Nasa kanya yung spotlight. Mm -hmm. So, it's easier training tapos ngayon nandito yung laban, mas madali yung laban kasi uh, dito mabilis kang may initan so mabilis siyang makakapapawi sa workout so mm -hmm. hindi niya kailangan maghanap ng mga low altitude or high altitude training right, so uh. I think more or less pareho na yung yung atmosphere dahil kung sa Manila most probably <laughs> sa Manila yung laban so pwede right. siya sa Manila lang mag-train Will there be more pressure though? More, more expectation on him? Siyempre dahil ito si Brandon naging top caliber fighter mm -hmm. so, tapos he once ran over yung heavyweight division ng ibang or ng previous uh, MMA organization. Mm -hmm. So, maraming at stake na I thought you were here. Yes. So, yun yung magiging gauge na I thought you mm -hmm. were already here. Where do you want to go? Correct. So, correct. siya naman, he still wants to set the bar high. Uh, if possible, siguro gusto rin niyang mag-retire na champion. And I saw a video saying na I think he was joking. Nagustuhan niya maging senador, one of uh, <laughs> Yeah, one I, of I, I heard that. Oh, uh -oh. I heard that. Who knows? Uh -oh. Who knows? Okay. Um, ito namang kalaban niya si Hideki. Uh, bakit matagal siyang hindi lumaban? Meron ba tayong information about that? At ano yung maaring, you know, pros and cons? On? One is, you might think he's rusty, but two, you might not know what he's improved through training and what not, in the two years na hindi siya tumungtong sa spotlight. Yun ang hindi natin malalaman mm -hmm. uh, hanggang sa hindi sila nagtatapat talaga. Oh. Pero uh, I'm sure, hasa siya pagdating sa grappling or sa ground game. Okay. Yun yung sure. Pero yung grappling, it's 
me, medyo ano siya eh, medyo uh, blind spot sa kumbaga para kay Hideki. Mm-hmm. Although nung nakita ko nung isang laban niya, medyo takot yung kalaban ni Hideki sa kanya. So, uh-huh. we would have to see kung paano niya i-handle yung fighter na handa makipag-scrap sa kanya. Right, right. Pwede ba natin i-generalize yung mga Japanese fighters na bibihira din sa kanilang heavyweights? Oh, like Filipinos, maliliit mm-hmm. din sila. Right. Tapos ang sinasabi nga nila, it's uh, wala pang nagiging heavyweight champion pagdating sa boxing or MMA. Mm-hmm. So, he wants okay. to be the first. Right. Uh, it's also a challenge for him and mm-hmm. it would be a great honor right. if he would be able to get yung championship from Vera. That's in MMA. Maraming mga heavyweights sa sumo. Oh, <laughs> sa kanila. Sa they kanila. would be ruling the heavyweight. Pero, anong, anong fearless forecast mo sa bakbakan na ito bukas? I think if makukuha ni Brandon yung distance sa gusto niya and yung pace, it would be uh, Brandon Vera. All the all right, way. All the way. Okay, so we will see as the spotlight will shine bright again uh, dito sa one uh, so Manila with Brandon Vera as the main event. The Theo, maraming salamat to see you next time. Thank you, thank you. Hi guys, keep watching The Score for the latest sports updates and don't forget to subscribe to the ABS-CBN Sports in Action YouTube channel.